This is the tooth of a giant shark, the Megalodon. The mighty Megalodon is sadly extinct now, but when it was alive, it was one of the most ferocious predators ever to have roamed Earth's oceans. Like modern sharks, Megalodon skeleton was made of cartilage rather than bone. So when they die and sink to the sea floor, they decay away before they turn into fossils. So these monsters are still something of a mystery. Using the teeth and the few fossils we have found though, we know that they were truly gigantic, reaching lengths of up to 20 meters. That's more than three times the size of a great white shark. They had 250 of these, can you believe it? Terrifying serrated teeth arranged across five rows in jaws that could be up to three meters wide and calculations of their bite force, the strength in those massive jaws, suggest that they could chomp down with over 18,000 newtons, equivalent to the weight of a large family car, and around 10 times that of the largest great white. Add a vicious side-to-side -side shake to that bite, and these teeth would be able to tear through flesh and bone alike. What's even more terrifying is that Megalodon could strike pretty much anywhere in the ocean. Fossil teeth have been found from many, many different locations, and sharks are thought to have inhabited shallow to deep waters in tropical to temperate climates. The oceans were most definitely a dangerous place when Megalodon ruled the seas. Luckily for us, those days are behind us, as the fossil evidence tells us that giant sharks went extinct around two million years ago. And yet, some people believe that these monsters are still out there, lurking in the deep, lying in wait to swallow stranded sailors whole. There's some precedence, as the nearly five metre long megamouth shark was only discovered in the 1970s. Prior to this, the giant had completely escaped detection. Megamouth's lifestyle helped to keep it hidden, staying in the deep sea in the daytime and only feeding passively on plankton but it's almost impossible that a predator as massive as Megalodon could have gone unnoticed in the same way. It's true that 95% of Earth's oceans remain unexplored, but when your way of life depends on sinking 250 oversized teeth into the nearest chunk of flesh, then you can expect to leave behind some clues to your existence. For instance, all that biting takes a toll, and sharks normally shed their teeth every once in a while, but despite all the fossil dentures we've discovered, not one modern megalodon tooth has ever been found. You might expect to see the devastating effects of megalodon attacks on their prey too. Fossil bones of whales and other sharks show the scars and breaks that could only have been made by a giant shark. But no modern day animals, living or dead, carry the distinctive injuries of such a ferocious killer. Without any of this evidence, it's incredibly, incredibly unlikely that we'll find a monster lurking in our oceans, even as we continue to probe their depths. Scientists think that Megalodon preferred warm waters, and when an ice age began to set in around two million years ago, they went into decline before their eventual extinction. But now, with a trend of global warming, the seas may be more hospitable to the gigantic shark again. So, what would happen if we managed to reintroduce Megalodon to our seas? Jurassic Park style. In short, it wouldn't be pretty. Megalodon was the ultimate apex predator, an opportunistic carnivore that would attack and eat pretty much anything that crossed its path. They have no predators of their own and would be able to prey on huge marine mammals like the sperm whale and even modern day top predators like the great white shark and killer whale. Their brutal attack strategy would even allow them to kill and eat animals much bigger than themselves. By biting at fins and flippers, they'd be able to immobilize their prey before ramming them and using their immense jaws and teeth to tear through flesh and bone to go straight for the heart and lungs. Back when they thrived millions of years ago, they would have faced competition from other super predators like killer sperm whales, but these have since gone extinct too meaning there'd be nothing to stand in the way of Megalodon becoming a true terror of the seas. Would you like to see our oceans full of ferocious giant sharks? Let me know in the comments below. And for more great content about our blue planet, be sure to check out our sister channel, BBC Earth.
Like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged for more great science and nature videos, and I'll see you next time.